guys, so today I have swatches of the Fun Lacquer Spieta Sanders collection, which I'm probably butchering her name, but I'm doing the best I can. Um, there are six polishes here. These are releasing on September 2nd at 11 p.m. Singapore time, which I believe is 11 a.m. Eastern time in the U.S., so I will have all that information down below. Six polishes in this collection, and I will get into the swatches. So the first polish is called Happiness, and this is a nude holographic. So here is one coat. And this one is a little bit sheer on the first coat still. I can see my nail line, but it is like the perfect nude to match my skin tone. At least right now. Once my tan is gone, it probably won't match as well. Formula is great on this one. So here is two coats. And this one does cover completely in two. It is a little bit more of a subtle holographic, but it does stand out pretty well. So there is two coats of happiness. The next polish is called Daydream, and this is a rosy pink holographic. So here is one coat. This one is pretty opaque. I can still see my nail line, so it definitely needs two coats, but it is a lot more opaque than I was expecting, considering it is a lighter pink. And great formula on this one as well. So here is two coats, and this one covers completely in two. In addition to the holographic that runs throughout this, it also has some small holographic flakies that really stand out. So there is two coats of Daydream. The next polish is called Triumph, and this is a copper holographic with those same holographic flakies. So here is one coat. This one covers pretty well on the first coat, still a little bit sheer. It does have a lot less brush strokes than I was expecting. There are still a few in there, but they're not nearly as bad as I thought they'd be. And great formula on this one as well. So here is two coats, and this one covers completely in two, and those brush strokes do completely disappear as it dries. If there are any left, they're impossible for me to see because there's so much going on with the holographic sparkle, but I think they're pretty much gone. And this does dry a little bit dull. The last two did as well, so you will want top coat. So there is two coats of Triumph. The next polish is called Be Yourself, and this is kind of a sea green holographic. It's got a little bit of blue in there. So here is one coat. This one is a little bit more sheer than the other ones have been on the first coat. It should cover fine in two, though. Great formula on this one as well. So here is two coats. So this one covers completely with a thicker second coat. I think depending on your application or how thick you do your coats, you might end up needing three if your nail line sticks out there a bit more than mine does. Mine's not super, super white, so it's not hard to cover. So there is two coats of Be Yourself. The next polish is called Powerful, and this is a red holographic. It's kind of a slightly pinky red holographic. So here is one coat. This one covers pretty well. It's super, super bright and saturated, but I can still see through to some light spots a little bit. The formula on this one is just slightly thinner than the other ones have been, so it's a little bit different to apply, and I think that's probably why you have lighter spots. So here is two coats. This one covers completely in two, and it does deepen the color quite a bit. This one dries a little bit dull, so you will want top coat, and what I like about this is that holographic kind of soaks down into the red polish. It just makes the holographic look a lot more pink and I think it looks really nice. So there is two coats of Powerful. And the last polish is called Last Doubt and this is a black holographic. So here's one coat. And this one is a little bit sheer on that first coat. Great formula though and a super strong holographic. So here's two coats. And this one covers completely in two. It does dry dull, so you will want top coat, and it's going to help make that holographic stand out a lot better as well. So there is two coats of Last Doubt. So Triumph is my favorite out of this one. It's a really pretty rich copper color with that holographic glitter in there, and it's just, it's pretty. It's not something that I see super often, so I like this one. So that is the Fun Lacquer Sfieta Sanders collection. Again, that releases September 2nd at 11 p.m. Singapore time, which I believe is 11 a.m. Eastern time. I'll have all that down below. Link the website down below as well. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I will talk to you later.